Alright everyone. It's time to start heading to the pool. Does anyone need to use the restroom before we leave? I do. Me too. Me three. All of you? Fine. Just make it quick, okay? Hey, Joe. How's things going? It's already been a long day, Jane. I've been here for a few hours. There was a lot of trash when I got here. Looks like one of the camps was having a party. Is that so? They usually start those at the end of summer. Yeah, that was, you know, unexpected. <laughs> well, gotta get back to work. Nice seeing you, Jane. Goodbye, Joe. Call me later to discuss our weekend plans. Who was that? He's an old friend of mine. We met back in high school. Was Mr. Edwards with you guys back then? No, he and I met a few months ago. Andrew Edwards is way younger than me. He's actually starting college in the fall. Wow. He's my brother's age. Peter, right? I remember him. I was his guidance counselor back when he was in 8th grade. Was Mr. Edwards a camper here when he was our age? I don't know about that. I started working here two years ago. You're free to ask him when we get back. Alright guys, we're here. Don't take too long. We won't. That was amazing guys. What was? How we were able to make her forget that the party was mentioned. Let's keep doing that. So you're saying every time Mr. Edwards and Miss Garcia are hit with a hint about the party, we should bring up a different topic? Yeah. That could work. The only issue is that we'll have to do the same process for the next three days. What if the effect wears off? Don't worry. Three days will go by fast. I think the effect will last until then. This was such an amazing week with you guys so far. I felt like we should take a moment to look back on these events. Kids, can you explain this? You don't know. Alright. Huh, there's more. Perhaps you can explain these. Kids, how can you do this? This is extremely unacceptable. Whose idea was it to do this? It was mine. Since you guys gave us that extra time last night, I thought it would be a good time to share a moment with everyone. We were gonna throw a party at the end of camp for you guys. You could have waited until then. I have to say, that was impressive on how you guys were able to clean up before we woke up. However, I'm extremely disappointed in all of you. Especially you, Brooke. Miss Garcia and I are going to think this over, we'll be back in a while. Alright, who was the genius who took the pictures? What do you mean? We all took the pictures. Yeah, but if I'm not mistaken, it was you and Henry that did the camera the most, Ethan. Hey! You guys had the camera at certain times as well. Why are you blaming everything on us? And Ethan's right on one thing, we all agreed to have this party, and now we all got ourselves into this. You're one to talk, David. Don't you remember that you were gone so for so long last night? I bet you told them while you were there. Didn't you? Sarah, are you kidding me? What makes you think that? I went upstairs to take a phone call. Why would I tell on you guys? Plus, didn't you see their faces? They wouldn't react that way if David told them. Point is, if you didn't take the pictures, none of this would have happened. Well Paige, I told you they were there, didn't I? So if you uploaded them to your computer, we wouldn't be dealing with this. Whatever, we're in big trouble now. Thanks a lot. Come on guys. Let's get out of here.
we have decided on your punishments. Everyone is banned from the pool tomorrow. Also, no free time that day either. Brooke, as the party host, you can still come to the pool with us after tomorrow, but you are banned from going in for the rest of camp. But like everyone else, you are restricted from free time tomorrow. On top of that, we're not allowing you to participate in the dodgeball competition this Friday. What? No. You can't do this. Punish me with something else, I don't care. Just please let me do this. I want you guys to finally win one. I'm sorry, but our decision is final. It's getting pretty late. Time to head to your rooms. You may proceed to do so. I'm so tired. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Tell me about it, I wish we could all sleep in today. Let's face it, we all couldn't sleep after what happened last night. Yeah, that's right. You better leave us alone. Oh. Let me guess, are we to blame that you guys weren't able to get seconds? Hey Paige, did you hear something? No. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Oh, it is so. On. Ethan. Stop. I know they are being jerks but just drop it. Let's not get into more trouble than we already are. Ugh. Fine. Nelson. Wake up. Huh? What did I miss? Nothing much. Just trying to finish. You don't want to wait until lunchtime to get something to eat, right? I guess. What table are you at? I'm at the table on the far right corner. Where do you want to meet? Let's meet one of the tables in the middle. I want to make a plan to help you broke it out of this mess. Okay, I'll see you there. Nelson, over here. So what's the plan? I'm not sure yet. I was thinking we could do something to help Miss Garcia and Mr. Edwards. I mean, look at them. This is the angriest that they've ever been at us. I have an idea. How about you clean up the cafeteria after every meal we have? Maybe this would change their mind. That sounds nice, but that won't work. That's actually part of my punishment. Miss Garcia told me last night. I have an idea. It might sound crazy, but I think this is gonna work. Alright, look, I know this is gonna be hard. But I think you should work together with the guys for the games. What? No. They hate us, why should we work together with them? Just think about it, you don't even have to talk to them after this is over. You're only doing it once, okay? Seems fair. As long as they stay out of our way, then we'll be cool with them. So, are you guys for the idea on teaming up with the girls? I mean. It's worth a shot, right? Besides, today's the last day of camp. Whether we win or lose, we won't have to see them again. I'm with Thomas. We can give them a chance, just this once. Me three. It's probably best to put the party incident behind us for now. Well, what about you Ethan? What do you pick? Well, when you think about it, it would be nice to work with them again. Especially the fact I wasn't able to talk to Sarah in a while. Let's do it. Alright guys, let's be the first team in four years to put our camp to victory. Alright everyone. We're now in the final two. It's the Slivertown Warriors versus our longtime champions, the Blue Eagles. 
Give it all you got. Let's get started. Well, look who it is, if it isn't the team who lost for four years straight. Are you ready to lose again? Nope. Hope you guys like silver, cause that's what you're getting. We're gonna win this year. Come on guys. You can do this. Are you serious right now? Only like 5 seconds? Maybe this was a big mistake. Better watch out punk. The Blue Eagles win the second round. One more to go, and then they'll continue their winning streak. Sorry guys. I don't know what happened, those guys are pros. Hey! It's already 2-0. How does it feel to be part of one of the worst teams ever? Not very good. Well, it's not over yet, right? Give up. You don't stand a chance. They're right. It's so game over for us. This is terrible. They only need one game to win. If they do, we entered for nothing. Well, what are we supposed to do? After what happened in the past two rounds, the girls left us hanging. They probably did to make us lose. Some team support. I'm sorry, what? Just because we're not good at sports doesn't mean we would actually make us lose on purpose. Exactly. You know Sarah, Leah and I are not expert dodgeball players. Though we had Abigail, if Brooke was playing with you guys, we would have already been done. And we all know why this happened in the first place. Guys, enough. Before, it made sense why we were mad about the party. But now you are just using this as an excuse to fight with each other. I didn't sign up for the dodgeball tournament only so we can win, but I did it because I thought this was another way we can have a great time. I'm still upset how I'm not able to play. But now, you guys are driving me crazy wait maybe there is a way you can play i almost forgot about this idea until now i gotta go find miss garcia is something wrong what did you call me here for miss garcia we need brooke to play she can help us catch up to the other team nelson we've already went through this i'm sorry but this is the only way for her to make it up for the incident you know how about we agree to this you let Brooke play, and I'll serve her punishments. Really? You'd do that? Just so Brooke can play? Yeah. That's some real team spirit you have. Because of that, I'll allow it. Bring Brooke over here. I bet she'll appreciate this very much. Sure thing. Thank you so much. Brooke, Miss Garcia wants to talk to you. Again? What does she want this time? <sighs> Fine. I hope she's not gonna yell at me again. What did you do? You'll see. Oh my god. Seriously? Thank you. Thank you guys so much. This has got to be one of the best days of my life. Hey guys. I'm able to play. I'm able to play. Thank you so much Nelson. Alright guys, after I change, let's start winning, working together this time. Wow. Nice job Nelson. I didn't think your idea would work. My question is, what was this plan anyway? Hey Ethan, Nelson. Do you guys think we have enough time to talk? Oh hey Sarah. I think so. Alright guys, the break is over. Time for both teams to start sending out new players. I guess not. Sorry. That's okay. Come on guys, we have a team to cream. You betcha. They better watch out. We're ready to win. Ouch. That hurt. Luke, are you okay? Wow. Great strategy. Yeah. Looks like we still got a shot after all.
Ouch. My balls. Awesome. We're tied. Woohoo. You go, guys. Alright, everyone. This is the grand finale. Who will take this year's trophy for their team? Sarah or Madison? Let's find out. Just throw it already. You know it's over for you. Game over. The Silvertown Warriors win after four years. I don't know what happened. I thought I had that. Madison, don't worry. We did our best, and we can come back again next year. Alright my champions, say cheese. I can't believe we did it. Looks like we do great together after all. Yeah. I also wanted to say, we're sorry for blaming you. Same here. We're sorry for yelling at you guys. You know, with all of this, I can say you guys made this one of the best weeks ever. I wish we still had more time with each other. Yeah. I hope you see you guys after school starts again. Alright kids. Time to head back to your rooms. Get your stuff ready before the bus comes. And Nelson, you know what to do. Mr. Edwards will be waiting for you in the front. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'll get started. Need a hand? I got two. Yeah, I'll need all the help I can get. Thanks, buddy. Wait a minute, don't you have to pack up your stuff? I had my stuff ready since last night. Wow, you're fast. I know. It wasn't a lot of stuff too. I can't wait to see my family again. I've got so much to share when we return to the city.